What is up guys, Coop here, and today we're going to be showing a updated guide on how to build Lose. Yes, I actually know how to say her name now. So, <laughs> let's actually dive in, because God knows, I, it took me forever to actually learn this name. Um, so, she has the Encourage Chase ability, which all humans have, which is really nice because it buffs up all um, sort of allies near you. So, really nice ability overall. Next we have Madding Song, which causes characters in your target area to become mad. Mad characters will attack the ones nearest to them, regardless of alignment. So this is an ability that affects characters. I have to clarify that because a lot of people assume that it's enemy characters. No. So this is one that affects all characters in around you. Very important to keep that in mind. So, whatever you play her as if you play her as range or melee you need to make sure that you don't have another range or melee if you're going to be using maddening song keep in mind this is a source based ability you won't be using it for a while and even if you do get it you don't have to follow through with it but the important one is encourage that's the skill that you're going to be using constantly next she has the human um, based ability of initiative which gives her five percent crit and initiative as well and thrifty which is a nice, nice thing in bartering so how, do you, how exactly do you want to build her? Well, there is actually a variety of different ways you can build her. I specifically like building her as a range-based character to abuse Madding Song because uh, that's a nice little get out of free jail card because you can have, if you have multiple enemies around you, you can be just like scream and then just run away. Uh, encourage is really base, good to base ability and having that extra crit and initiative isn't bad. So what's a, a few builds that you can do with her? Well, she's really good as a Shadow Blade. Why is she good as the Shadow Blade? You might say, well, she has that 5% crit and that initiative, and then she also has the Encourage skill to help her out with boosting out her allies while she's running around. Uh, and she has Maddening Song, which is a nice get out of free jail card, along with Chameleon Cloak, uh, Backlash to teleport right behind people, and Chicken Claw. So, nice ability overall. Uh, it all kind of fits together, so it's a nice little toolkit there. Uh, another way you can build her is that of a Wayfarer. Uh, you can do, you know, your pen down, you can do elemental arrows, you can do fossil strike, you can buff up your enemies around you, you can do banding song when they get close, uh, you can use the crit and the initiative. Uh, and talent wise, you can build her pretty much whatever fits the, the role, just do, use the typical um, roles based on if they run near you or whatnot. Um, I wouldn't do arrow recovery anymore. Arrow recovery was decent at first, but nowadays it's kind of completely crap. Um, I would never use it honestly um, now depending on what you exactly want to go for with this build you can try to make her sneaky you could try to make her uh, lone wolf which does really well um, it, it, the really the choices are up to you she's a very uh, nicely built character um, as always uh, with human based characters I suggest a conjurer is pretty good um, that's how I've been building her uh, lately and so like if people get near me I just do maddening song I encourage all my different totems and uh, incarnates, and uh, you just get that bonus initiative, which is really nice. Um, what's really cool too is your stuff is um, determined based off your summoning level. Same with everything else. Um, and then Madding Song and Inspire don't scale off of anything, so those are just kind of up there. And then you have the bonus initiative and crit, so you can really kind of build it however you want. Um, later on you can kind of partner this up with something so you don't have to build just intelligence you can build up like for example strength or uh, finesse or whatnot and you can make her like a ranged conjurer it like there's a variety of different ways to build her so it keeps it kind of nice and simple and so you can kind of put points where you really want it rather than having uh, to be forced into something so that's a nice build overall to do as well but um, as a mage uh, she's also good um, I, I like her as like a range based character but you can also do her as a melee based character it really depends um the main thing of the matter is is just making sure that if you are going to be using maddening song that you focus on making it to where like your party kind of complements around it um because you have an ability that buffs people around you and then you have an ability that hurts people around you so you got to make sure that you kind of balance that out um i specifically like her as a uh conjurer though or a uh rogue but that's up to you guys as well anyways i just wanted to make sure that i had an updated guide on all these uh, be sure to like comment subscribe and um comment below how you build lose and i will see you guys next time